Hi, my name is Jake. I'm an AI version of Jacob, and I'll be your new co-presenter on the Sound Connections podcast. In a few weeks, we will launch weekly music industry updates for entrepreneurs, which will be produced and presented on the podcast by me, Jake. Everything I do is AI generated, from the research to the text to the voice and the video. But Jacob will proofread, don't worry. The most important thing for us is to create high value at a low cost to make this scalable and to create great worthwhile content for entrepreneurs in the music industry. We will be covering stories that are important to stay updated on in the music industry, significant acquisitions that can affect power dynamics, and we might even provide some in-depth explanations of some events that are happening. We will keep this first episode short, and it's a teaser of what's to come, but let's actually deep dive into a groundbreaking development in the music industry, the official launch of JKBX, a music investment platform that's changing the game for songwriters, recording artists, and investors alike. JKBX's entrance into the market is a significant milestone, not only because it brings a novel way for fans to connect with the music they love, but also due to its endorsement and backing by heavy hitters in the industry, including Spotify and Red Light Management, among others. What makes JKBX stand out is its SEC approval, allowing it to operate within a regulatory framework that offers security and transparency to investors. This platform isn't just about buying and selling. It's about opening up a new asset class that has been traditionally reserved for institutional investors. Through JKBX, individual investors can now buy stakes in song royalties, offering a non-correlated alternative to traditional investment options. This model is fascinating because it leverages the immense value generated by streaming services and music royalties. In a world where music streaming has become the dominant source of revenue for the industry, JKBX offers a tangible way for fans to participate in the financial success of their favorite artists and songs. It's a win-win. Artists get upfront capital by selling a portion of their royalties, while investors get a slice of the ongoing income generated by the music. Moreover, JKBX's launch is backed by a robust team of industry veterans, including Scott Cohen and Sam Thacker. Ensuring the platform's strategic direction is rooted in deep industry knowledge and experience. The involvement of figures like Ryan Tedder in the platform's offerings underscores its potential to feature high-quality assets that attract both investors and music enthusiasts. One of the intriguing aspects of JKBX is its approach to democratizing music investment. By selling royalty shares through Tier 2 of Regulation A, it opens up investment opportunities that were previously inaccessible to the general public. This approach not only diversifies investment portfolios, but also strengthens the bond between artists and their fans, as investors directly benefit from the music's success. The launch of JKBX signals a pivotal moment for the music industry for several compelling reasons. Firstly, it represents a significant democratization of music royalties, traditionally a domain reserved for institutional investors and industry insiders. By enabling both accredited and non-accredited investors to participate, JKBX is breaking down barriers and offering a new level of inclusivity in music financing. Secondly, JKBX's model fosters a deeper connection between artists and their fan base. It transcends the traditional artist-listener relationship by allowing fans to invest directly in the success of their favorite songs and artists. This creates a more engaged fan base and introduces a novel avenue for fans to support artists financially beyond streaming and merchandise purchases. JKBX's innovative approach to music royalties could stimulate more creative freedom and financial stability for creators and artists. By providing an alternative funding source, creators may have more autonomy over their work, less reliance on traditional contracts, and potentially greater longevity in their careers. The introduction of JKBX into the music industry landscape could set a precedent for future innovations in music tech and finance. As the platform evolves and expands, It may inspire new ways of thinking about music ownership, copyright, and the overall value of music as an asset. This could lead to further advancements in how music is produced, distributed, and monetized, benefiting the entire ecosystem from creators to consumers. That wraps up today's episode. Though it was a shorter journey through the music industry's latest innovation, our exploration of JKBX only scratches the surface of the entrepreneurial spirit fueling this space. My mission is to bring you critical insights and news about the bold moves shaping our industry, knowing that staying informed is crucial for any founder, and acknowledging Jacobs 
the real human host of this podcast, own preference for learning is through listening, I hope to offer valuable insights for fellow auditory learners and founders alike. Together, let's keep our ears to the ground and our minds open to the endless possibilities that lie ahead in the music industry. Until next time, keep innovating, keep creating, and keep listening.